we're going to recreate this smartphone motion design hack 2.0 flyer by Femi Marvin. I really don't know who created this design, but let's try to create it. All right, so if you look at the design very well, it's not so very, very difficult. Okay, so let's begin by bringing them the things that are important, all right? So let's begin with this image. All right, so I couldn't get a full image. So this one I got, I had to blow it like this so that it feels just the way it is like this. So we're gonna put, put it here. All right, we're gonna come here and just increase this a little. Okay, all right, so this guy, this guy is going to be in the background all right it's just a normal regular uh what's it called let me bring it to the front so i see it it's a normal regular uh, guy so see what i'm going to do now i'm going to remove everything this out this out all right then i'll come here there's one more thing all right this out all right so it's a normal you still don't see it so you may not see it like you have to rotate it to get it to fit in like this all right then if you check the original one you'll see that there is a lighting effect so i'm going to click here click here now this is looking too big so let's reduce it then click and get the exact color that was used so i'm going to do like this all right so let's pick it directly from here oh yeah i think here all right you can move it here now okay you can see that now then you can come over here this shadow you can add a shadow to it let the shadow be this one all right so you see it now so you see that there's a lighting effect already all right so i'm going to send it to the back like this all right then we check this guy here you'll see you'll see it in the what's it called i'll add it as one of the, the resources for you to use this one all right so we are just going to rotate it like this and put it there like that all right or i'm going to vent it just a little all right then let me even add shadow to it all right then this guy here smartphone motion design act 2.0 so i'm gonna bring this text here so let's write smartphone motion design acts 2.0 all right, I'm going to do, to do this. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to use Bibas or Mozart for this. All right, so. Now, if you notice, it's a, it's a gradient, right? So, two colors. So, the first that's going to be at by this side is going to be this. The second that's going to be by this other side is going to be this. So here you have it, right? Then this information that is going to be here. We just copy it from here. So click or oh, click on this guy here and copy the text. All right? Then you can paste it here. All right? I'm going to use this um, techie font. Space grow tech context. So just do it like this like this all right now the other information that i hear they're quite easy how do we have them so let's get the logo let's reduce it now if you check very well okay, so we can bring in these guys to the date and then the those devices that can be used so i'm gonna click here and paste it okay I'm gonna click here like this. I'm gonna click here like this. Alright, so I'll put it there like that. Okay, so the next information is going to be this. Let me show you. So I'm gonna take out this old guy now. That is the background. So the background has two. Alright, but I want to use one first. So I'm gonna click on this. Just this. Alright, it's gonna give us this. Mm -hmm. Then notice that the image has this light effect also, this glow effect. So we use this. It is too. Let's make it very light. All right. Okay. So let's add this guy to it. We're going to reduce it. All right. Okay. So this guy, we're going to close it up. 
like this okay now um the next information here so this guy i'm going to bring it up now i'm going to use it to create a background so i'll do like this just copy it out put it there i'll do like this i'll bring it here okay okay so i'm going to know which one let me know which one is the one i separated okay i think it's the second one okay so from here one two three four five i'm going to merge them together all right then after merging them together i'm going to copy now I'll bring them here copy again bring it here then i'm going to merge it together again one two three all right so i'm going to change the color to white then i'm going to reduce the opacity like this okay so i'm going to put it here okay so i'm sending it to the back of the design all right so let's go again this guy here is going to be we're going to change the color to this and we had a little um shadow to it reduce it here all right so we adjust it don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this all right that's one we're going to copy it we'll bring it down here all right, I'll move it where we have this other guy. All right, so the next information is the the website to register. All right, so it's going to be at the top right there. So we can use this guy also. Just copy it and paste it there. All right, cool. Okay, so just stretch it out like this. Select your color and take from the URL. Okay. Okay. Okay, alright, so just bring it here. Then add a border. Alright, just add a radius to the border and then remove the opacity totally. Then add maybe outline to it. Alright, like this. So it means we can now adjust this guy inside the border properly. Alright, so that same border we can use it for these other guys. So let's let's go over here. So yeah, right here we have this guy, so I'm gonna go over here quick 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 i'm going to click on this guy here i want to get the tool so i'm going to crop this out or crop this out so i'm going to put it here all right then i'm going to go over here i'll click on erase color i will take out the black color that is there it will be left with these guys so i'm going to go back to color now i will enable the color i'll change it to white then i'm going to um i'm going to go to the shadow effect i'll enable the shadow and i'll add this to it Right, so I'm going to just need this opacity a little just small like this. Okay, it's not so bad. I'm going to bring it here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to bring it here. See that now. Then we can come over here now and bring in um these guys that says um access free. Alright, so let's come over here. So let's write access free. Okay. Now for the word free, I'm going to use monster. Art. All right. Then the next is check 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 platform YouTube. Okay. Platform YouTube. So come over here and just type platform YouTube. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. I will use this guy for it. All right. So I'm getting this shape. I'm bringing it here. Right, I'm removing, I'm adding a radius to it. Then I'm removing this guy. Then I'm bringing an outline to it, maybe one point, right, like that. So let's just adjust it here. All right, so let's adjust it like this. All right, so for this other one, we're going to bring it here. Copy it. This one says platform YouTube. All right, we'll just drag it like this. Bring it here. Still drag it again. Bring it here. All right, so we're going to bring in the YouTube logo now. All right, just bring it here. All right. So we can fix it like that there. Okay. So after having done that, the next thing we want to do is to bring in this um, rocket. 
All right? We're just gonna fix it there like that. We add a shadow to it. All right? We can increase it like this. All right? So this is what we have so far. All right? You can see that now. So if you check very well the background, the name, okay, the name is gonna be here. All right? So I'm gonna add some effects around the design. I'll change the color to this. All this, all this is perfect. Sure. Sorry. Bring to the front so we can we can add this guy somewhere. Right. Right. So let me add it there. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the original design. All right. So this part of it is quite dark. The other part of it is quite light. All right. Okay. All right. So this is where we are currently. We've done all this other stuff. So I'm just going to add this background here. This background here. You can see it's just a lighting effect I added at the back. All right. Then I'm going to add this guy. This guy here. All right. I'm just going to go over here. I will click on erase color. Okay. I would um, make it white. So go to color, make it white. Okay. Just white. Then I, I'm just going to stretch it across the design. So I'll stretch it like this. All right, so let's some of them be here and let's some be here. So let's put some of them here. I'm going to reduce the background like this. All right, then send it to the back, back. All right, then we can copy this, copy it, copy it, bring it to the side also. Send it to the back. All right, so you see that you've gotten a kind of a background for this design. So check this is original design. This is what we're working on currently. All right, so um, I think uh, we are good to go. This is too too big. This guy is too big. This guy here, but let's leave it. It's just a tutorial, right? So I'm going to bring in this star again. Where I doubt, I'll bring this star and I'll, I'll copy it and I'll bring it here. Just reduce it small here. All right. Don't forget to like this video. All right. Share it to your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Um, this guy that is here disturbing. So, so I'm going to where I doubt. All right. I think this is it. I cannot deceive myself. All right. So you can see the design. All right. So let me know what you think about the design and uh, subscribe for more tutorials like this so this guy is very very close here so i'm gonna put it here just here all right cool when you're done go ahead and save your design and you can work on it increase the contrast and every other thing with other apps like snapseed um, pixart and you can even work on the photo more make it more interesting with lightroom i will see you in another tutorial thank you for watching to the end